after getting spending a whole day meeting local businesses and different leaders and and uh, citizens and getting their input, I kind of had a list of what they wanted and what they thought that should be uh, put up. I know that Father Grappi was a big one that came, kept coming up and up, and I actually had to go do all my own research on that to find out about him. Um, the the nickname Silver City was interesting. All the ethnic restaurants that were all up and down the avenue there. Um, uh, when they, they took a short interview uh, at the Frank Lloyd Wright Center, and I saw all the Frank Lloyd Wright houses, and he's well known here. So he kind of, that kind of, uh, through the, the kind of an arts and crafts, like look to the whole thing, the segmentation and the, everything's got this sort of, um, yeah, arts and crafts look to it, the, the craftsman mission style. Uh, there was, uh, and then I, actually when I got down here, the wildlife, I started adding into the design with all the different wildlife that I would see, the different butterflies. There's a little white butterfly on the end of there that actually died he landed in my paint while i was painting in it so i literally just said okay well i'm going to paint you in and make you part of the mural um the uh live music was the thing that kept coming up from locally and so the blues guitar player the uh the railroad influences in the in the tunnel uh, i did all this research and and the, the reflection at the bottom is supposed to be in the river is what what the valley used to look like when it was a before it was became a, a super site and then above it is what it was supposed to look like now and then on the other side of the tunnel is the uh, above it is the the nature of the area and below it was the native american uh, someone pulling rice out of the river and um again with the wildlife there's a, a deer and the uh, local birds red winged blackbirds motorcycle the the um the museum the baseball was a big one, Hank Aaron State Trail. There's a Hank Aaron and there's a Hank Aaron quote. Um, uh, the, the, the train was an interesting story. The, the trains, I apparently got something wrong. There was a guy that used to come and ride by all the time when I was working. He looked like Willie Nelson. He'd ride on a bicycle and he would stop and say, looking good. And then one day he stopped and he said, you know, that's all wrong. And I was like, what are you talking about? He said, that train would have never run on these tracks. And, and that's the wrong engine. You get the wrong logo on the wrong engine. Well, it turned out he was quite the train expert and came a friend and he just recently passed away. And he, he uh, used to come by and say, hey, come with me and, and I'll take you up and show you my trail. He, he had built like an art trail all up along the railroad tracks and the trees up there with all this found object art. It actually became part of a bicycle tour, I believe. Uh, and we became buddies in his... His niece ended up buying art for me, prints for me for years. I was in contact. She sent me the information that he had passed away. And uh, so I had to change all the stuff on the train. I took his word for it. Of course, I went back and I looked it up, but he was, he was right. And we would go and he had built a little bench in the side of the hill where the trains would go by and he'd tell me what kind of train it was. And he'd point out different hobo marks, you know, on the trains and who had ridden the trains. And it was pretty interesting. I met a lot of interesting people. At one point, the, the first week or so that I was working in the inside, um, somebody that was not happy with the project found a five-gallon bucket with base paint. It's a, a liquid blocking base paint, so it's basically like concrete. And I forgot I had left it down here underneath a table, and they picked it up and they slung it across the whole side of that, that whole inside of there. And I came, came to work that Monday and had to spend the whole day working on that. And the word got up into the neighborhood that that, that had happened, and a bunch of people from up the neighborhood came down and hung out and helped me scrape all that stuff off the wall and repaint it. But back when I was, did this one, I was still doing everything by hand. So I, I just sketched it all in. I knew about where things, uh, I had another, another trick I learned was to actually print out photos of the wall I'm about to use and do outlines right on that. So it's, then there's, you don't run into a little, oh, I measured that wrong, which I got into this one a little bit. But um, yeah, I just kind of, I know I jumped around a little bit, like I would get, I get bored with one section, so I'd go back and work in the tunnel, and then I'd go on the other side. There was never like a, a time lapse of the, the whole thing to start beginning to end, and, and one and beginning of the other. Um, I just kind of remember putting in the base colors for the different, the different windows, and then going in and sketching it all in, and grease pencil, and then just painting it by hand. I liked, I liked the, the kind of inspirational quotes. I liked the nature aspect of the whole thing and kind of interspersing the different local wildlife into it and even the color scheme was you know they they actually one of the people uh, on the day that we came down to talk to the neighborhood they were like they didn't they wanted it to sort of blend in they didn't necessarily want it to be garish brightly colored graffiti style but there's a 
dragonfly on the other side over there that, that was a, just an afterthought because I saw one go by. I was like, oh, that'll go good. And uh, I came down to see this one day last year and was taking some pictures, or about two years ago now, was taking some pictures of it. And as I took a picture of the dragonfly, one landed right on the picture, right next to it. I was just wondering if maybe it was him coming back to see me again. Uh, one of the biggest projects I've done, it was one of the first large multiple wall pieces that I got to do. So it's definitely got a place in my heart.